Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 40 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're on to stage 4 of Gunning's Musa Mode. Alright, here we are at the Battle at Fawn Castle, a stage that we haven't had in a long time. In fact, we never played in this stage since in Guan Yu's Musu mode. And that was as the Shu forces. This time we're actually on the Allied forces. Alright, so, the weapon stays the same, unfortunately. Items will stay the same, bodyguards I'll leave at sword. The conditions. We have to defeat Guan Yu to win. And if some of you is defeated, if I die and run out of time, we lose. And we only have 30 minutes on this map. The unit info. For the allies, we have Sima Yi with Sao Ren, Shu Wong, and Pang De. I am not listed because the Wu forces eventually show up later. So for the Shu forces, we have Guan Yu and Guan Ping. That's it. Alright, the intro. Leading his forces north. Soon Quan takes Hefei, defeating its protector, Zhang Liao, in the process. With this victory, Wu's power spreads all the way north to Changjian, further threatening Cao Cao's grip on the region. In the year 219, Liu Bei orders Guan Yu, who had been protecting the Jing province, to head north and attack Wei's Fan Castle. Just then, a messenger from Cao Cao arrives for Sun Quan, who had been plotting to take Jing. Meanwhile, at Fan Castle, the Wei troops find themselves surrounded by Guan Yu and prepare for a drawn-out siege. Then severe rains throw themselves at the castle walls. Can the heroes of Wu save Fan Castle from danger? Alright, let's get to it! Must fight one you. What? Once we get in Fawn Castle, it'll all work out. Ha! All right, so let's get to it. You. you think this water will stop me? Don't worry about the water. First, expel the enemy! Support is coming soon! Wait a little while! Okay, so in this stage, you do have to be careful, because if you wait too long, you will be caught in the floods. And if you're caught in the flood, I think you pretty much die. So, be extra careful on where you are too at the time. Also, you will unlock Lu Mong, if you manage to keep him alive in this mission. So, if you can keep him from getting killed, he will be a playable character for you. So, we'll definitely try our best to prevent Lu Mong from being defeated. So, what I should do is, uh... Should there be an item here? I feel like there should be. Oh, there's the item crate. What I want to do is make sure that I get all the items and weapons that are only found in the lower part of this map taken care of before I feel like I need to be putting myself in danger of being flooded. So let's get that taken care of right away. Besides, one of these could be a third weapon, and I could definitely use one right now. So... There's the, uh, upstairs area. Am I gonna end up losing my horse? Because I can't go upstairs? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Alright, we should deal with Guan Ping first. I gotta remember to head over to, uh, Sima Yi's main camp, because the Dim Sum is there. Alright, let me go deal with Guan Ping first. Well, I still got time. The sooner I can dispatch him, the better. Also, there's crossbow units, so I'll use my moose attack on them. That was actually very fruitful, I will admit. 
But there's even more crossbow units, so I gotta be careful. There we go. On the plus side, I think Lumong only shows up sometime after the flood attack, so you don't have to worry about him drowning. You just have to worry about him being thwarted by Guan Yu, or at least whatever troops are still left. No, I'm not even close to Guan Ping yet. Alright. Alright, there he is. Right over here. Okay. Whatever. Whoa! That was a bad time to use a boost to attack, wouldn't you agree? Okay. What? That was kind of bullshit right there. I dodged my Musu attack being drained from a deadlock, and then, like, a standard soldier hits me with a Musu attack. Okay, at least you do get advanced warning about the water. Is it, like, seven minutes or five minutes? Well, whenever it happens, I'll check the time. Awesome bodyguard. But I avenged my loss. I defeated an officer. It did not take long for Yon Ping to fall. Alright, I'm staying away from this area because there are archer towers. Oh, I'm gonna lose pretty much all my bodyguards at this rate. Are there any gates I need to seal? Okay, just one. And it's right next to Guan Yu. Maybe it won't be an immediate issue. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do without my horse. Let's try to clear out as many troops as I can. I think an item crate is right here, because I remember finding it by accident when I was playing as Guan Yu. And that's when I realized I should have been looking in crates the whole time. Now I'm, I'm more wiser than ever before. Let's try to get his morale a little bit lower. Which is easier said than done. I mean, it is Guan Yu after all. Sadly, most of the troops I'm killing are from Guan Ping. So it's not helping my cause in the slightest. Am I on the lowest level? No, the lowest level is actually dark brown. No. Who, who shot me? Okay, it happened around the five minute mark. That fool one. Even if we lose the castle, we must beat him. And we lost Pong Du in the process. Which caused one use morale to go up to seven? Alright, before Lu Mong shows up, I'm gonna grab that dim sum from a uh, Sima Yi. So I think Lu Mong actually spawns pretty close to Guan Yu. So I'm gonna need to be quick. I don't have a horse anymore, do I? Did Rare Hair get caught in the flood? I think that's what happened. Um, shouldn't there be like an item crate nearby? Or did it get flooded as well? Yeah, I think it's gone. Alright. Well, I guess I'm not getting that now. Okay, luckily I know where the dim sum is too. For this battle, we will ally with Wei. Together, we will destroy Guan Yu. Okay, our reinforcements have arrived, and uh, where is Lu Mong? Right here, okay. He's far away from Guan Yu. We've been waiting. That is ideal. You come to demand thanks? Ha! You fool! Wrong way. I should have went down from there. Amazing skill. Okay, I 
let's see. Once I grab the dim sum, we're moving north. Remember, Guan Yu's morale is at seven, so this could be a problem if we leave him alone. Luckily, Shu Wang is probably just gonna be out there in front. So if he dies, it's no major loss to me. Unless Guan Yu's morale goes up to the freaking roof as a result of that. You gotta remember that I can take shortcuts just by jumping down the wall. There's no fall damage in this game. Oh, Luong's already battling uh, Guan Yu. And Shu got reinforcements! Jo Song, alright. So Guan Yu's morale is gonna go up to 8, pretty much. Oh, I thought I blocked that. Okay, Lumong might actually be in danger if he's actively fighting these guys. Oh dear, even I am in danger. Oh man, come on, give me a break here. Oh, uh, did I actually hit him and we both took damage? Maybe I'm imagining things. Alright, Joe Song is down. They look powerful. Yeah, no kidding. Get that defense up. Don't fall behind. Oh, that's also Musu recovery. Never mind. I think a weapon crate is right here. Yes. Alright, time to make a push and join the main unit. Shun's in trouble. Better fix that right away. Oh, the map is not really that great to tell you like where you can walk and where you can't. Especially in this map. But luckily this video will not be too long, given that we only have 30 minutes on this map anyway. Oh, yeah, that morale definitely needs to drop. Having it at 8 is a no no. Man, that's a lot of troops, too. Lost a bodyguard. Again. <laughs> Do I have any left? Or are they all gone right now? You're more skilled than I've heard. No, I still have one. And I think I just lost one a second ago. That's hilarious. One ointment. They're all coming through that way? Ho! Oh. Just like bowling. Ah, uh, I'll give it a spare. It would have been a strike if they all died. Oh, one use morale dropped? Fantastic! Wait, one use actually going down? Oh, good for him, I guess. How the hell are some of Joe Song's troops down here? He spawned from the south, and then he died. Apparently, uh, Joe Song just got revealed as a new character for Dynasty Warriors 9. I wonder if they will reveal more new characters. Like, I'm excited for it, but I don't know how it would work in an open world environment. Like, some games, they try to go open world because they want to do what uh, uh, cater on the success of the games like Grand Theft Auto and Scrolls did, but I don't know if it'll be successful. I am Guan Yu, brother of Lu Bei. I will prevail. Uh, I'd love to stay in chat, but there's a Musu coin over there I need to get first. Oh, God, he's chasing me. 
Maybe he'll chase me all the way to where the Musu line is. How is Lumong himself doing? Morale of four? Alright. I mean, it should be higher once I start getting more kills. God, they are all chasing me. I mean, Guan Yu isn't. But a majority of the troops are coming in my direction. Sadly, I gotta go around a long ass way to uh, get the uh, Musu line. Why don't I just shave off a couple seconds or so? You know, that's good enough. And I did get some decent results out of it. Okay, so once I grab the Musu wine, I'll seal the gate, and then we'll go take on Guan Yu. I think we grabbed just about everything we could on this map. Of utmost importance, at least. Oh, man, I couldn't walk fast enough. I do lose Shu Wong, that might make it a little bit easier for Lu Wong to possibly die. Okay, I think it's time for us to go. Sadly, we gotta go all the way back around. This map is quite tedious if you're unable to get your horse up. Wait a minute. Why is there a soldier over here? That is odd. Lumong's in trouble already! Oh shit, I better go. That's what I get for wasting time. Oh man, this would suck if I actually lost him right in front of me. All because I wanted to get the Musu wine. Oh, Shu Wong's also in trouble. We can't hold them. Sure you can, I'm almost there. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, that's a lot of dudes! Oh. Oh, that was our rude awakening right there. You are formidable one! Well, let me take out those guys. Oh, his morale just went up. Nice. And it's Directly attuned to my performance. Ah, he just looked at the bodyguard and he died. Like, one of like, screw you, you ain't getting any points out of this. Oh, he would stand in the right spot to get me. Whoa! Alright. I won that deadlock there. Okay, I practically just need to isolate him from his guards. Okay, he knows sold that. That was bullshit. Okay, now we're just running to BS territory. He just gained health, didn't he? Whoa! And Musu. That is unacceptable. Please get some health. Why am I slashing at my own troops? Okay, we got his morale to drop even more. Okay, I just needed to soften up his guards. Please keep him busy. They're the reason why I can't get any decent combos on him. Once they die, I have a better chance. So I'm gonna employ some hit and run tactics. Let's see how he likes this. Pro 
probably not very well. Oh god. He got a smack on me. That's right, I'm gonna be just a little rat to him. Okay, he's still very problematic. At this rate, it's gonna be my troops that'll be depleted. Okay now. How did I miss that? Although like a few well placed attacks can still kill me. And if anybody can like hit some very hard hitting attacks, it's on you. But I think we have Lumong unlocked right now. I can probably go check in between episodes to be sure. Hopefully I did. Otherwise, then I'd have to redo this mission again. And I think you can only unlock that character in Musu mode. So it's around 60 minutes and 52 seconds. Decent time. Alright, so that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. We didn't even get a third weapon! Well, that sucks. I expected better. We didn't get anything that was really good. Except maybe a new character. And we lost 1,400 points. I only gained 601? Wow, oh, that's a small amount of points. <laughs> and I still go up a class. Oh, that's hilarious. Alright, so we'll save. And, uh, actually, before I end the episode. Oh, okay, well. I guess we're gonna get a spoiler as to what the next stage is gonna be. Yep, it's the Battle of Yi Ling. Uh, I'm not gonna watch that yet, because I'll we'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. The reason why I wanted to do this was just so I can go into my roster. Pick any stage, doesn't matter. I want to make sure that I got Lumong unlocked, so you can see with your own eyes. Yep, there he is, right here. So by completing that mission in the Battle of Bond Castle, he is now playable. So I almost have everybody in Wu. Like, I'm still missing Soon Jian, and I'm still missing Soon Se. That might get taken care of real soon. So I'm going to stop here, and in the next part, we're going to play the next mission, which... Well, now know is the battle of Yi Ling. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>